in your opinion, would you say that this world is more positive or more negative? At the moment, more negative. Is it maybe because of what you're watching on TV and the news you're watching? Or are you talking about your personal experience of what you go through in life? Which is this, this. Good morning. <laughs> Bank account's pretty low today. So I'm gonna like focus on trying to make some money. Full candy headphones. I'm not in a position to just want stuff and get it just because I want it. I'm only on a must need basis. So I will be returning these headphones to Walmart. I'm also selling something that I have that's worth a lot when it comes to I have the, the bang I wanted for it. Um, and do you have a receipt? Uh-huh. Let's see if you want to break the rules here. $20.20 $20 richer. My Team G skateboard, uh, the electric skateboard for $250 in Kansas. I do need the funds right now, and it is an electric skateboard. It goes 22 miles an hour. I don't want to get rid of it. I had a lot of fun on this thing. Just things I want. I don't need it. I don't need that skateboard to survive. Good news is we have a Slobot gig today too, so we're gonna make some extra money. Indian Rock Park. Looks kind of cool. I don't really need to be at the Slawa gig until noon and I'm only a half hour away and it's nine o'clock, so I might just go for a little run. Hey, how you doing, man? Living off the van, bro. Oh yeah, me too. <laughs> really? Yeah, I do van life. Oh yeah, you got a bed back there and shit? Yeah. Cool, man. How's this park? Is it cool? Beautiful. You're not from here? Nah. Yeah, I think I've seen you then. I yeah. thought somebody was fucking with me. Here, Mike. So, oh, fuck yeah, dude. Does a bear shit in the woods? Hell to the yeah, bro. This is gonna fucking knock you out, bro. That's all yours, bud. Dude, thank you so much. I haven't smoked in like 72 hours. An apartment? Yeah. I still have an apartment, but the landlord, I told, I keep trying to tell the landlord I don't have a buddy, you know? And he kicked you out? No, I cleaned his apartment out like a gentleman, fucking walked out. Hello, Kansas! Cars are fucking filming. Woo! What city is this? Salina, baby! Salina, Kansas! <laughs> it's not here. <laughs> yeah, the weed probably had something to do with it, but it probably didn't. Just because this happens to me on a daily basis that I just do something so stupid that I don't even realize it's in my fucking pocket. Stupid adventures, what does that mean? I lived in here for a hundred days straight and just Snapchatted my journey. Then I got a little bit tired of the Snapchat and I decided to move over to YouTube. Do you want to get love sprinkled? This is glitter to you, right? You know what it means to me? Love. Why don't you just go sprinkle that shit on some strippers, Mike? I gotta take a shower and everything after that? No way. Dog, what? Dude. No, Mike, there's different fucking points of views of that sprinkle shit. I'd rather get sprinkled with dirt. I would never ever sprinkle someone with dirt. I sprinkle people with love. The white rednecks, you know, that hate everybody and everything, they got a president in the office now that they like. And the thing we have to do as progressives is figure out why they hate us all. Just because we're liberals, we're trying to help them. Are you a liberal? Well, pretty damn liberal. I like Bernie Sanders. 
And Bernie Sanders won here in Kansas. He won against Clinton in the primary. Bernie Sanders wanted legalization for pot, right? Yeah, he's all about it. I like Bernie Sanders. Do you think we're a more positive world or a more negative world? At the moment, more negative. All in all. Is it maybe because of what you're watching on TV, on TV, and the news you're watching? Or are you talking about your personal experience of what you go through in life, which is this beautiful life? Well, I didn't know anything, anything about, about where, you're, where at. you're at. Salina, Kansas. Okay, it's pronounced Salina. Okay, I didn't know that one. <laughs> Look, we got too many people. There's too many people on the planet. We can't support. In New York City, yes. There's always, in the world, we have so much land here that we can all just space it's, out. It's not about land, it's about resources to support those people. What kind of resources are we talking about? Because all you need to live is food and water. Food and water are the resources I'm talking about. There's so much food and water in this world that you can bring it anywhere. There's so much land in our country. If you turn around and zoom in on that river down there. river in Kansas, it's full of poison. It's full of atrazine it, from all the farm fields. Pretty much all the water supplies have some degree of impurities from man-made chemical situations. You could bring gallons and gallons, I mean, I'm talking hundreds and thousands of gallons in trucks and trailers to all this free land in America. Do you know how I know that there's so much free land in America that people can utilize to live? How do you know that? Because I travel all over the country in that bitch. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. Across the desert, there, man. I breathe the mountain air, man. Travel, I've done my share, man. I I believe in destiny. I believe everybody's in a certain place at a certain time. Uh, and Ron, can you tell me what you just told me? In Kansas, like I do, I was actually... Born. Well, no, forget the weather. The fact that uh, oh. you're, you're making a documentary on tornadoes. Oh, well, here you go. Uh, yeah, Fence Post Productions. Uh, I've been working on this film for nine years. 10 years. Filmmaker. Now. I ran into a filmmaker. I went to school for journalism, radio, TV, and film. It's too corporate, so I, I'm glad that digital Let me came get this along. here. What's your main documentary that you're working on right now? It's not only about tornadoes, but about 1973 in particular. Who was president, what was going on, the Vietnam War. All kinds of things were happening that are still happening today. How come we haven't progressed? It's like the scars that the tornado left on the land. We've got scars in our society. So this is this is a film that puts both of those things together. It'll tell a, an exciting tornado story. I mean, the tornadoes, there's over a dozen. They went from central Kansas all the way up to Nebraska. Over a dozen in a short period of time. And, yeah, in one day. One day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All around this area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you captured these tornadoes on video. Yeah, I was 14. I saw my first tornado. I was so excited. Back then, we had film cameras. There was no video. So I had a wind-up movie camera called a Brownie, made by Kodak. And I shot the tornado from my backyard. How many tornadoes have you experienced in your life? I don't have a count. Here in Kansas, they happen a lot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the only place that has more tornadoes is Oklahoma. What would you tell a human being who wants to go chase tornadoes for his first time? Go with somebody that knows what they're doing. Shazam, do you know what you're doing? <laughs> going to my humans right now. He has a slow gig for me too. This country out here. Whoa, whoa, this is a dirt road, son. We are out in the country here, and I must say I do fucking love it. Uh, looks like this is his crib a crib. What's up, dog? How are you? Good, man. This yeah. is fucking country, bro. Told you. It's not much. It's pretty dirty. I'm country. Good. Oh, you still watch DVDs? <laughs> yeah. We are old Out school. Outdated, son. <laughs> we are old school. Do you know uh, what year it is? Uh, 1983. Silly Mike's here. Hello. Can you say hi? What's the shirt say? Believe? Do you believe my name is Mike? <laughs> Do you believe things are about to get silly? <laughs> Bitch, I'm silly! I'm from Chopper, shoot your shit up, let's get busy! Hey, whose side are you on? <laughs> this is the Kansas you gotta experience. Yeah. Holy shit. Shoot. This is your lake. <laughs> what do you call it? 
Uh, don't really have a name for it. What should we call it? Lake Kansas. Lake Kansas, that's what it is. <laughs> the good thing it's hot, because I'm going in Lake Kansas, yeah. and I'm cleaning it. Yeah. Right? Yeah, just cleaning out some of the sludge. Ah, uh, like the... Moss type, it's grass, <sighs> moss. Ah, uh, perfect. Gross. No, I am down <laughs> to get gross today. So we're out here just raking. I'm just raking up out the bottom of this water. This stuff usually gets stuck on the fishing hook. Why did you just put your face in that mud? Wow, look at your face right now. Hey, where's my dog at? That's not my dog. That's a black dog. And you're putting hay on your hair. Perfect. Mud and hay? <laughs> mud and hay. That's not your dog. That is not my dog. Where's my dog? Whose dog is that? Is that your dog? My dog is white and brown. Now you can, because Spotify premium. My dog doesn't like frisbee. Tornado! Tornado! Go! That's it! That's it! Oh my god! Does her father know her better than me? So you think this random rainbow? I think so. Just because it has stars. I think this one. Okay, and I only known her for 20 minutes. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, hello! I have a gift for you. You get to pick one of these necklaces. Now, only one. You can pick any one you want. Which is it gonna be? I don't know, but I kinda like this one. You pick any one you want. Look at any all one. Of them. Look at all of them. That one's cool, too. Really look through all of them. I still want them. Yo, Daddy knows you quite well. <laughs> For real, you live in a house van? Yep. A vouse. Remember? Van, house. You put them together. And what does it say? Vouse. <laughs> you have what? And now you have love. Yay! Got some love sprinkles. Yippee Kaya! Oh, look at me. I <laughs> well, they just kind of left me here alone. They are shops that have been converted into houses, which, oh my god, fucking gorgeous. So gorgeous out here. I truthfully love it. They left me the shouse, and I cleaned Shazam. He looks fresh and clean. I'm eating pasta, and I'm listening to Akira the Don. He's got a Jordan Peterson track, 42 Rules for Life. And I'm super inspired by it. Make at least one thing better every single place you go.